Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well today we're going to show you how to build this striking dual color text heading. We're going to be using the Supreme Modules plugin to do this today and it's really easy. So let's get started. I've got my Visual Builder already enabled here so I'm just going to go ahead and delete this module. I've got a row with a single column in it. Now let's add our dual heading color module. Divi comes as standard with all the light gray modules here, plenty enough to build any site with. When you add the Supreme modules, you get these darker ones here, and there's about 40 of them, and it's a fantastic addition to the Divi theme. And the one I'm going to use today is Supreme dual heading right there. Just left click and it'll load it for you. And it's going to prompt you in to put a before text, the middle text, and an after text. Just put in whatever it is you want to put in there. It's a good idea to add a space after the before and just before the after text. That way your middle text has got a bit of space in it there. If we roll down, don't want to link the module to anything today. If, you, if you're advertising something, obviously you'd want to link it to whatever that is. Put your link in there. If it's on the same site, leave it on the same window. Otherwise, you can open it in a new tab if it's on an external site somewhere. Don't need a background color or an admin label today. So let's get over to our design, heading settings. H2 is absolutely fine. Main text. Well, let's put it in the middle here. And I'd like to see a sort of bolder looking text, so I'm going to make it up a case. I might change the font. Divi comes as standard, we're still in the main text here, with hundreds of fonts, literally. And if you just hover over each font, it'll show you what it looks like. I'm going to use Anton today because it just makes the thing a little bit easier to sort of color and deal with. That's great. Let's make it bold. And let's make it a lot bigger. There we go, something like that. You can change the letter spacing there and the line height, no point line height because we've got no other elements for it to space out. Okay, well, let's go down some more. I'm not going to add anything to this one, but we can do them all individually. So let's do our before text first. If we go into our before text. I don't want a background color. I don't want any margin or padding at the moment. But let's give it a color. I'm going to make it black. And you can pretty much can't see that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat by giving it a sort of glowing outline. If I go down a little bit more, I'm going to add this text shadow and I'm going to make that color a sort of light blue which will highlight our background text there. So if we roll down, text shadow color, I'm going to use a nice sort of light color. As you can see that sort of highlighted my text right there. That's a nice little effect because we've got dark on dark. Okay, let's move on to actual middle text here and decide what we want to do with that. So going on down. And let's add a bit of light sh text shadow behind that, we'll make it stand out too. I think I'll use the same one. But let's use an actual white color this time. There we go, and we can play with the spread, make the blur a little bit more or less, take it out however you want it. You can change the positioning of it up or down with a vertical slider and left and right with a horizontal slider. I think I might just take that blur up just a little bit more something like that and we'll just if 
fine tune our horizontal and vertical with the little arrows there. There we go. And we can add a bit more space either side if we want to. We've actually got padding up at the top here. Let's just put an extra 10 left and right. There we go. That just gives it a little bit more space there. Let's move on to the aftertext. And the aftertext is simply going to do the same as I did with the first one because that was quite a nice effect. So we don't need a background color or any margin or padding. But we'll make the text itself black. You can't see it. We'll just add a bit of text shadow using that nice blue color again. There we go. And there's our heading done. Let's just save this and save our changes. And there you have it. That is how to create a dual color heading with the Divi Supreme modules plugin. And that's pretty eye catching right there. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.